Hello everyone, in this video today, I will show you how to set up an NFT drop to allow your team members to claim the NFTs for free using ThirdWeb's newly announced claim conditions to override the price for a set of wallet addresses, which will be your team members in this case. Before we start, if you do enjoy our content, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. We produce quality content every single week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to hear all about free Web3 tutorials and content. So to begin, let's deploy our NFT drop smart contract. We want to head over to the explore page in third web's dashboard and click on nft drop contract once we're on this page click deploy now to begin the deployment flow we can fill out the details including name image and description i am going to pick moon jellyfish as my test image make sure you have the recipient address as your own wallet address for the purpose of this video i am going to choose go early as my network however you can choose any network you'd like but for the educational purpose of this video i'll be p picking a test net once you have filled out all of the details on this page you can click deploy now after you have clicked deploy now you'll be prompted a message on your wallet to confirm the transaction on the gorilla test net once you're ready click confirm to process the transaction and deploy the contract. Now that you have deployed your contract, you can head over to the NFTs tab to batch upload your NFT collection. You have the option of either downloading the CSV file or the JSON file, which holds the expected structure of the NFT collection to finish your NFT drop. So using a CSV editor, which I'm using Google Sheets in this case, we want to import the data from the example CSV file that we just downloaded. Once we have it imported, we'll see that the spreadsheet is already pre-populated with the sample properties. So for my own project, I decided to go with animals collection and I've modified the properties to be more applicable to my project. And once I have finished editing all of the properties, I downloaded the spreadsheet as a CSV file again to be included into my NFT folder. If you wish to include a JSON file instead, you can also download the JSON file and change the values accordingly. Once you have finished populating your spreadsheets, you can save it and upload it with your NFTs and drag and drop them into the box on the left here. This action will immediately populate the NFTs with their corresponding data. And if everything looks correct, you can click next to finish the rest of the settings on your NFT drop. Give it a few minutes for it to upload all of your NFT collection and it will prompt a message for you to process the transaction. Once you have successfully processed the transaction, you will have added properties to your NFT drop. So next up, we want to generate a team member CSV file to override the base claim conditions for a set of wallet addresses. To do so, we want to create claim conditions which allow you to define a set of conditions regarding who, when, and how your users will claim an NFT from your drop. In this video, we'll create a base claim condition where all of the users can claim NFTs for a prize and override those conditions for a specific list of wallet addresses so they can claim it for free. So for your team members, they can claim it for zero ETH. Now let's use a text editor or a spreadsheet tool to create a CSV file using the format that I have here. You can replace the address with the addresses of your team members and change the max claimable amount to the number of NFTs you want your team members to claim. And I just put two as an example here. And for the price, you can switch it to zero to make sure that the team members can claim it for free. In the claim place, we can set the default values for all of the wallets and change the details and charge whatever amount you want for the general public. And we want to make sure that we are selected on any wallet with overrides in who can claim NFTs during this phase to upload the CSV file we created just now. And this will prompt open a drawer where it will allow us to upload the CSV file that we just made. And then we can save our claim phase. 
we can go to the embed tab and try minting from the wallet address that we just created and uploaded into the CSV file. Now we can see that we have created custom claim conditions for the team members because we can mint the NFT for free. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope it was helpful. I really look forward to seeing all of your amazing NFT collections. And if you have any questions or comments, and if you haven't already joined our Discord community, the link to join the Discord is down below in the description. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I hope to see you in the next video.